Importance of Depth Control and the Best Way How to Use OKT. I'm Gun Ok from Korea. What to present in this movie implanter itself, assistance skills, surgeon skills, importance of depth control. OKT consists largely of seven parts as in P2. The difference from exodame implanters is that there are four more nuts in OKT. All of the existing implanters cannot fix the length of the needle and the depth of the core. Thus, the depth of the implanted hair follicle can be different from the operator's intention. But OKT uses the principle in which when two nuts are tightened on a bolt to each other, the position of the two nuts are fixed on the bolt, and OKT fixes the needle and the core on the fixed nuts so that the length of the needle and the depth of the core can be maintained during this operation. The length of the needle is adjusted according to the length of the hair root to be transplanted in each patient. The best length is that at which the hair follicle to be planted is visibly slightly at the beginning part of the bevel, adjusting and fixing the length of the needle and tightening the two nuts each other. The length of the needle is well adjusted to the length of the hair root. In case the needle of implanter is too long, the transplanted hair can be placed deeper than the reference depth, and the tip of the needle can be damaged the tissue underneath the hair papilla. In case the needle of implanter is too short, the transplanted hair can be placed shallower than the reference depth, and part of it may be exposed to the air on the hair follicle is crushed and make the hair curly. In case the core protrudes, the hair root is pressed and crushed and a trauma can happen and the hair is highly likely to be curly. Different from the length of the implanter needle, the depth of the core should be the same regardless of patients. The optimal depth is that at which when the button of the implanter is pressed, its level is the same as the end of the implanter. In case the core is too deep, the hair is placed shallower than the reference depth and the part of the root is exposed to the air. When a hair is loaded on the implanter, the optimal depth is that at which the root of the hair is visible slightly in the bevel. In case the hair follicle is placed too deep, the transplanted hair goes less deep than the reference depth. In case the loaded follicle is exposed, when the transplanter needle goes into the scalp, the root can be damaged. When a needle has entered the scalp at first, you should make a tiny incision site with the tip of the needle and then push the whole needle inside the scalp. When you pull out a transplanted hair with the forcept, you can see the depth control is well done. Rotate the implanter halfway around while thrusting the needle in the desired direction and angle. At the final position, the bevel of implanter needle should point at the floor. If the bevel faces the ceiling when you insert a needle to the end, it gets inserted more deeply than when the bevel faces the floor, as much as gap in the picture resulting in damaging on the blood bed beneath the root of the transplanted hair. It should be pressed at the point of time when the implanter needle has been inserted completely into the scalp and then drawn out and the pressed scalp becomes even with the original surface of the scalp. In case the scalp is soft, if the button is pressed too early, the scalp extends after the transplanter needle is withdrawn, and then the transplanted hair is buried completely in the scalp. If the button is pressed too late, the hair root is exposed in the air. The advantage of OKT over slit or stick in place method is that there is almost no bleeding. As you can see in the video by the delicate depth control, you can stop the bleeding which has already started. This is a case with much bleeding and popping. The length of the needle is 7 millimeters at first. The hairs on the right side are popped ones. After figuring out that the needle seems long, the length of the needle gets adjusted to 6.5 millimeters in the middle of the operation. After adjusting the length of the needle, bleeding and popping almost disappeared. The author has experienced many times that with only 0.5 millimeters of length difference, we can reduce the bleeding and popping dramatically. This means that delicate depth control can increase the survival rate. 
There's no further explanation needed to prove that OKT has far more advantages than existing implanters in adjustment of the depth of implanted hair. Thank you.